Hello, and welcome to this very basic introduction to Lector. We are going to just install Lector here and make a very simple um, demo website based on the quick start. All you need to do uh, to install Lector is to go to the Lector website at getlector.com and copy paste this installation command into your terminal. If you're unsure what it does, you can just download the file and see for yourself. But essentially, it just downloads Lector and installs it on a local path after asking you. Once the installation is complete, there will be a new command called Lector. And this command can be used to build a new application. Uh, so it can be used to build a new website or um, to run the local development server. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff it does as well, which we don't have to be concerned with at the moment. There's also a quick start command, which we can use to create a demo project. Um, so I'm going to just name it demo project now. And once we're through the wizard, uh, we have a new folder called demo project, which we can open in an editor. I'm going to use Atom here. And we can also go into this folder to run the server. And when we run the server, we can head to localhost port 5000. Um, and on this uh, port, we can see our website uh, show up. So this is just some demo content that is created by default. If we look at this in the editor now, we can see that there are four folders. Um, the assets folder contains files which are directly copied into the end result. Uh, so for instance, we have a style sheet here. The content folder is where the content of the website goes. So these are the, the source content for these pages here we are on. Uh, we're going to look into this in a little bit. Then we have the models folder, which is where the structure for our source um, for our content data goes in, and we have the templates. So what does this, um, how, did, how, do the contents, uh, how, how does the content folder work and how do the models work? Essentially, um, each of those pages has a certain structure defined. And if, um, if a page didn't particularly pick, uh, didn't pick a model in particular, it's going to use the default model, which is called page. Um, so let's look at the overview page. Um, the overview page doesn't have a model defined, so it's going to use the page model. And we can see here is a, is a field called title with the value welcome to the demo project. And here we have a field called body with, um, with some stuff here. We can change this and um, reload the page and we can see that it has been rendered. So this has been configured in the page INI to be, have a title and a body and also the behavior of those fields. So in the page and I, we can see that the title is a string and the body is marked down. So if, for instance, we change the body to text, the behavior of this field changes and it will now be rendered as text and no longer as marked down. The, the other thing these models are used for is not just the behavior of, of the data, but also the admin interface. So if I go here to the little pencil icon, I can see that um, Lector can show me this admin interface where the current page is rendered with a basic um, uh, with a basic form, so we can change the page here uh, as well, and you can see it has been rendered. And this, of course, will show up again in the file um, as an as an immediate change. So the the admin interface just changes these contents and of LR files. Um, to render this page into ready-made HTML, the, the convention is to use the template with the same name as the model. So if we have a page.ini model, but we'll have a page.html template. In this case, we can see it's a Chincha template, and we have the title here, we have the body here, and uh, we can do modifications to it as we want. Um, in this case, I'm just going to show you how to add a new field to our model. Um, we're going to add a field called author, and we have um, we make it a string. And if we now edit this page, we can add the name of the author. Obviously, it's not being used for anything at the moment, so we can go back to the template and say, for instance, if there is an author, then we're going to render uh, the author here, written by. And then as we reload the page, you can see um, this information is now displayed, whereas on the page doesn't have an author yet, um, it will be left out. So this is just a very, very basic introduction 
um, there's a lot more to lecture, um, in particular with regards to how you structure more complex projects like portfolio websites, blogs, or anything of that sort. Uh, just head over to the documentation. There will be guides on all of those um, topics and also uh, a full list of the features in it and how to use them.